I understand that people want to campaign in a good way to stop these things happening. But sometimes the way they phrase it is so ridiculous that it does become funny. I mean, I saw one this week that said, shut down the theme park that forced a pig to bungee jump. (laughs) (laughs) Pigs may fly. (laughs) Pigs may fly, exactly. Hello, welcome to episode two of the Inane Campaign podcast. I'm Mark Rowe, and once again, myself and my good friend, Andy Gleeks, will be striving to make the world a better place, one inane campaign at a time. The, basically, the crux of your campaign is to give Boris Johnson a giraffe. Yeah, ma- let's make him look after a giraffe. What was the next bet? Tomatoes are fruit. Tomatoes are fruit. Ketchup comes from tomatoes, therefore ketchup is jelly. I mean, I mean, they've left out vital states as they're having it. Tomatoes are fruit. Ketchup is this, therefore it's this. Whoa, no, whoa, like whoa. It. That's not how science works. I, I really, really enjoy how unreasonably angry you get about the running of this business. <laughs> it's not just their emailing, now it's their social media presence. Everything about them makes you really quite cross. His name's just Bacon, he's not Bacon. He's not in charge of the Bacon. He's not in charge of the distribution of Bacon, the production of Bacon. Kevin Bacon literally has nothing to do with Bacon. Is this news to you, Mark? I think John Cleese should get me a pony. <laughs> Very specific there. I mean, yeah. I don't know if he's got the sort of money to be spending on ponies, given that he's went through at least two very messy divorces. You cannot ignore a giraffe. It's the, it's massive, it's huge, it eats loads of stuff all the time. If he can look after a giraffe, he can look after us, Mark. So I had John Prescott, you know that clip, that famous clip of John Prescott attacking the protester? Um, yeah, so I had that, but with, with but with Batman sort of style captions flashing up all over the place. These events have seen incidents such as beer being poured over a tiger, penguins being punched, people climbing off into the enclosures and attempting to strip off and swim in the penguin pool. If you actually look on Google, there is just about a national day for everything. There is a national courgette day already. There is a national flip-flop day already. There is a national alligator day already. There is a national light bulb day already. There is a national pillow fight day already. I just cannot find anything to have a national day for that doesn't already have one. You have taken one of the greatest prizes, the most vaunted prize in in humanity that's about, it's about intelligence, it's about literature, it's about compassion, it's about all these different things, and you're going to give it to somebody who can condense their ideas into 280 characters. You are responsible for the dumbing down of society, Mark. A bit of a hangover and a giraffe under your arm. Yeah, it'll have been punched or something, you know, and it'll be a bit dazed. I'll grab it, we'll bounce. It'll be grand. I've thought it all through. 